back on my god people it's another donated uh track by track and this one is uh greg this one's going out to greg um greg wanted to be he he paid enough to do two of them but i'm gonna do one each one you know one a piece he wants me to do uh motley crew the self-titled album with karabi versus the warren album dog eat dog now i'm not a warren fan I do like Uncle Tom's Cabin. I think that song kicks ass. I did hear the albums before. I never heard Dog Eat Dog, to tell you the truth. And I did for this. And, yeah, it did have a couple tracks I really liked, actually. I was kind of surprised, but for the most part, they do nothing for me. This album's phenomenal. I absolutely love this album a lot. I did not put... I, I took notes of the warrant, but I did not, you know, put it against. I don't know how the outcome is going to be. So let's get this started. So we got uh, Motley versus Warren here. <coughs> All right, so we start with Power to the Music versus Machine Gun. Machine Gun wasn't bad. Let me see what I wrote in the notes. You know, it's a good song, but the chorus with the big backing vocals that they're known for. Uh, ruin it for me. So I'm giving that one to Motley because I love Power to the People. Power to the Music, I mean. So Motley got one. Then we got The Hole in the Wall. Pretty heavy riffage, I said. Uh, but a bit disjointed, though. It doesn't do much for me, but it does have some cool riffs. And that's going again, Uncle Jack, which is probably my favorite song off that Motley album. So I'm giving that one to Motley again. All right, then we got uh, Hooligans Holiday, great song, versus April 2031. I said a uh, song about a nuclear fallout. Uh, odd for them, you know, it's a uh, song is, you know, it's pretty, you know, it's the best one so far I like off here, but Hooligans Holiday gets it, so. It's kind of wiping this shit out, man. All right, then we got Misunderstood. I love Misunderstood. Versus Andy Warhol was right. <clears throat> That's the best song so far. I even like it more than the last one. Andy Warhol was right. It's a really good song. I actually really dug it. It, it connected with me. But another one from Motley. Yeah, this might be a blowout. Even though there's uh, one or two more songs I like off the warrant, but let's see what it goes against. Uh, then we got uh, Love Shine versus Bonfire. And Bonfire, I wrote, blah. This reminds me of the past warrant songs. You know, those gang vocals, it just annoys me. So Love Shine. And Love Shine is like, it's a good song, but not one of my favorites off there. So it would have lost against Andy Warhol is right, that's for sure. Um, then we got uh, Poison Apples versus uh, The Bitter Pill. <clears throat> Not a bad song. It's a nice little ballad. Way better than Heaven and I See Red and all the other ballads I've seen them. I really like that song. And uh, I really like Poison Apples, but you know what? I'm going to give that one to Warren. I actually think it's a Pretty exceptional ballad. So there you go. I'm giving one to Warren over a song I like off here. <coughs> All right. Then we got Hammered. Did you know Hammered? If you listen to the lyrics, nobody ever talks about that. It's totally about Vince Neil. Uh, Hammered's going against uh, Hollywood. Chords of this song reminds me of Jane Says. It doesn't sound like Jane Says, but it's the same. You know that Jane's Addiction song? Same chords. And... I hate Jane Says. And, uh, you know, and this one I don't like either. So I'm giving that one to Hammered. All right. So then we got um, Till Death Do Us Part versus All Bridges Are Burning. This is what I said. Cookie Cutter Hair Band Schlop. Not my bag, Daddy. So another one for the song that was supposed to be the title of this album, Till Death Do Us Part. Great song. Uh, Welcome to the Numb, you know, along with, uh, with um, 
Uncle Jack, that's my favorite track off here. Uh, versus uh, Quicksand. <clears throat> uh, it has a silly, mellow intro, but then it goes into a song that's not really bad at all. I actually liked it after the, that silly intro. I actually like this song, but no, no, I'm sorry. Not, not as good as uh, Welcome to the Numb. That song is exceptional. Uh, Smoke the Sky, ripping tune. Versus uh, Let It Rain, boring ballad, next. So, of course, I'm giving that one to Smoke the Sky. <clears throat> All right. Uh, then we got, what do we got after Smoke the Sky? Dropping Like Flies versus Inside Out. Inside Out. This is what I wrote about Inside Out. I am shocked how kick-ass kick this song is. This song is so kick-ass, I put it above Dropping Like Flies. Definitely. That is like the heaviest Warren song I ever heard. I mean, that's the best song on here. That song ripped. There is just like two seconds, uh, I don't know, what does he say, Chitty Chitty Bang Bang or something in there? I was like, what the fuck? Why'd you have to throw that in there? But the rest was really, really good. I'm shocked how good that song was. So, uh, Inside Out gets that one. So, War got two so far. <clears throat> then the last track is uh, Drift Away. Love that song. Versus Sad Teresa, which I wrote, uh, should have ended it with Inside Out. You know, songs like this is what killed the hair metal scene, not Kurt Cobain. It's, you know, Sad Teresa, Unskinny Bop. I mean, oh, grunge killed hair metal. No, hair metal killed hair metal. Another one from Motley. <clears throat> so Motley got, damn, pretty slaughter here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And Warren got two. But, hey, Greg, thank you. Thank you because you turned me on to like the heaviest Warren song, and I liked the well, I liked a couple other songs. I liked Andy Warhol's right and the Bitter Pill. There's three songs I like off here. I know I've I've read a lot of people say about oh the uh, the Warren album's really good and Doggy Dog. You know it's kind of like Slave to the Grind and you know they got heavier. <clears throat> and well, three songs I really liked, and I've also heard a lot of people say that Jamie Lane was very talented. Let me tell you, by the, judge, by the songs I like on here, the three songs, I hear talent. But the rest of it, I think, I mean, it doesn't do nothing for me. I'm sure it does something for maybe you, Greg, maybe a lot of you people out there, and more power to you. But uh, next, Greg wants me to do these right here. So uh, my next episode will be for you, Greg. We're going to do the two Load albums, and that one's going to be painful. Anyway, thanks for watching, and uh, if you like what you see, please subscribe and click that little bell, and if you want to donate, my, uh, I got the PayPal description below, but come on, make it be something I like. The reason I'm doing this is because Greg paid a, paid a good amount, so if you pay, you know, a good amount, I'll do whatever the fuck you want. Thank you for watching, everybody. Schmack em a gob. Hey, check out my podcast, The Vieira Vault, on Spreaker, YouTube, and iTunes, subscribe, the links are below.